patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, and it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Today you begin this journey rooted in love. Your love will grow as you make your way through life and all that life brings. What a lovely thing if a husband and wife can say to each other at the end of their life's journey, she loved me to the end. He loved me to the end. Love endures all things. Love is the center of their marriage. It is the root of all that we do in relationship. Love deepens our experience and fills our lives with meaning. It gives us a firm base from which to grow, to learn, to change. Let your relationship and your love for each other be like this tree. Let it grow tall and strong let it stand tall in the storms and the wind. <laughs> and may you come through stronger. Just like your tree, your relationship will need to be watered and fed with words of encouragement, trust, and love. May your marriage bloom, even as this tree blooms each year. I, Paul, take you, Lindsay, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. A commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and eternally made new. take you, Paul, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. A commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and eternally made new. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love faithfulness to you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness, of my love and faithfulness to you. <laughs> Dear family and friends, with great joy I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Paul Graves.
be happy, you know, be loving, more importantly, be selfless, you know, just, it's, it's the other person, it's her, it's not you, it's never going to be about you, you know, you gave that up when you made your vows over there, so just remember that, you know, the happily ever after, it's not an end game, it's a daily grind, love each other, remember what this day feels like, what you guys feel right now, don't forget that, don't forget that, it's going to be tough. That's life, that's marriage, it's gonna be tough. But remember today, you know, I appreciate you, brother. I love you, you know, I wish you two the best, and I couldn't be more happy. I know all of us here know Paul and Lindsay pretty well, and I think we all know how special of a person my sister is, and that Paul is a very lucky guy. You and Paul complement each other's best qualities. You both are the most hardworking and selfless people here that I know, and celebrating here at your beautiful home just exemplifies that. You strive to do the best in your careers. You put each other before yourselves and are always there for your family and friends. You both are your genuine selves around each other and you make each other laugh often. I'm so happy to officially welcome Paul into our family and as my new brother-in-law and I wish you both a lifetime of happiness. And so this is cheesy but I'm going to end this speech with quoting um, one of Lindsay's favorite country singers. So this moment that says it's so right, that's all we have in this life. So let's drink up this love and give it all we've got tonight.